Martin Gruber Ernest Moses. Martin Gruber Ernest Moses is median to ulnar Ernest Moses in the forearm. It occurs through a communicating nerve branch between the median nerve and the ulnar nerve in the forearm. This connection carries motor nerve fibers. It can be confusing clinically and also in EMG. It has clinical significance for understanding the median nerve lesions and the carpal tunnel syndrome. So the axons will leave the median nerve or the anterior interosseous nerve crossing through the forearm to join the main trunk of the ulnar nerve, innervating the intrinsic muscles of the hand. Okay, it's more on the right side. It could be autosomal dominant. It is confusing presentation with clinical implications. So, as you can see in the diagram, a lesion above the communicating branch will affect the median nerve muscles. A lesion below the anastomosis, which is the connecting branch, will not affect the median nerve muscles will spare the thinner motor intrinsic muscles of the hand. Also, an isolated under nerve lesion at the elbow will produce an unusual pattern for intrinsic muscle paralysis. This is the most common anastomosis anomaly between the two nerves. It appears in cases of nerve lesion of the median or under nerve, this anastomosis serve as a conduit or an alternative innervation of parts of the hand and the forearm. It's really a detour. This can be a good explanation for difficult challenges, especially in differential diagnosis. The incidence is high, is about 15%. We should factor Martin Gruber anastomosis into the differential diagnosis and the diagnosis. Another scenario, if the communicating nerve arises from the anterior interosseous nerve, then a patient with anterior interosseous nerve palsy may present with a hand intrinsic weakness, normally supplied by the under nerve. Then think of Martin Gruber anastomosis. Another scenario is damage of the under nerve at the rest will lead to severe deficit of the intrinsic hand function than expected. Think of Martin Gruber anastomosis. There are other anastomoses available and reported and many variations are possible. The common ones ulnar to median anastomosis in the forearm. It is the reverse of Martin Gruber Marinesi anastomosis. Ulnar to median anastomosis in the hand. They call it Ricci Cano anastomosis. It is a connection between the deep branch of the ulnar nerve and the recurrent branch of the median nerve. It carries motor fibers and that anastomosis usually occur in the region of the thinner and adductor pollicis. Bertini anastomosis is a communication between the digital nerves arising from the ulnar and median nerves in the hand. So it is between the median and sensory nerves and this is the most common nerve pattern. So when the exam does not make sense and it is confusing, you can consider Martin Gruber anastomosis. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.